Hi, uh, I'm Fred Lombardi. I'm the VP of Marketplace and Core Commerce at Microsoft. I believe managing the cloud bill is a shared responsibility between Microsoft, our partners, and the customers. And just to break that apart, the responsibility for Microsoft as the cloud provider is not only to provide the core capabilities to empower your business, but is also to provide you the appropriate data sets and tooling to power your FinOps operation and manage costs. We know that uh, a full solution includes partners, uh, and so we believe that partners have a role to play uh, in this as well, and that's a shared responsibility because often we have partners engaged in the FinOps operations. The customers come in in that we believe that customers need to understand best practices. They need to understand that they need to work closely with the service engineers as well in a symbiotic relationship to reduce costs and build business value. Microsoft is investing in FinOps in a number of ways. And it really comes down to really four pillars for us. And the first is, you know, the first two are around uh, analysis and insights. And this is kind of, if you look at our product set today, analysis and insights comes with our billing and invoicing capabilities, as well as our cost management capabilities. And we're expanding those capabilities. They're available for Azure today. We've made them available for, for our per seat products, and that will continue to be an investment for us. And we're really excited about some of the emerging technologies uh, and how it'll impact there. The third pillar is around optimization, and optimization is incredibly important for the FinOps community And that optimization is all about optimizing your spend and optimizing your service deployments. And this is where you're gonna see things like smart recommendations. We've introduced obviously reserved instances, things like savings plan, the ability to commit to consume. There's lots of interesting thinking going on here. And again, we're gonna see a really uh, interesting set of innovations with the new emerging AI technology that we're seeing there. And then the fourth pillar is all around what I call the what-if scenario or the simulation scenario. And I think this is where things get really exciting for the FinOps community. And this is really where we can actually forecast workloads. We can have FinOps come in and ask questions using natural language, such as what will, you know, what will it cost me to, to move this workload from on-prem into the cloud and get a very concise answer. Uh, it, you can even ask questions like, you know, what will it take for, you know, for us to get into this new business and get an understanding of what your cost profile will look like. We're in a position to provide deeply insightful answers back to the FinOps persona to really allow them to plan out uh, and model the full forecast of their costs as they move their workloads into the cloud to maximize cost savings. I think this is a great time to talk about like the future of FinOps and the future of FinOps is incredibly exciting for I think a number of reasons. The first is the energy around the FinOps Foundation and the engagement that we're seeing from the cloud providers, the partners and the FinOps uh, professionals is absolutely fantastic and it's incredibly exciting. I think when you pair that up with some of the new technology and, and really here we're talking about some of, some of the innovations we're seeing around AI, it's an incredibly bright future. And I think about this again in, in four ways. And the first is, you know, looking at uh, from an analysis uh, and insights perspective, we've seen some of the traditional AI technologies such as machine learning kind of, you know, provide some capabilities to our FinOps um, constituents around better analysis, deeper insights through things like cost management uh, and some of the things we're seeing with billing and invoicing. Where things really get exciting is around optimization, where again, we've had historically what we consider traditional machine learning capabilities. We see things like smart recommendations, so pointing our customers, our service customers, as well as our FinOps constituents towards things like reserved instances, savings plans, uh, commitment to consume. I think that what we're about to see using large language models and chat GPT is absolutely going to transform that space. Uh, and we're gonna start seeing a deeper engagement directly with the FinOps persona with our tool set uh, and where FinOps will be empowered to ask much uh, broader and deeper questions and get much more insight into uh, what it takes to actually reduce costs. My advice to executives uh, around building a strategy to maximize their cloud value uh, is to maybe take a cue from what we've learned within Microsoft. And within Microsoft, uh, our journey has been a, a challenging one as, as with uh, many of our customers. So Microsoft Commerce, we started with our typical workloads 
Uh, and the first thing we wanted to do was to move them to the cloud and we were very excited about reducing costs. The reality is we grabbed our workloads. The first thing we did is we put them into virtual machines uh, and sure, sure enough, we discovered that um, the costs were, were not really that much different from what we were seeing on-prem. Uh, and this is really where the cultural shift started. And this is where we had the engagement with FinOps and we started driving some of the behaviors back into the engineering team by setting fiscally responsible goals. And that's really where we started to see innovation and that culture shift within our engineering teams to move from a VM mindset and on-prem mindset to kind of a cloud first mindset and using Azure natively. And this is really where we're now starting to see the gains. And that is you know, part and parcel with a culture shift that happens not just within the engineering team, but also within the FinOps team. Uh, and it's really those two groups working together and uh, building momentum around cost savings. Check out more stories from FinOps leaders making a difference in the industry. Thanks for your support.